Greetings from Boston, and congratulations on the founding on the of the Forum on Inequality and Diversity. I want to share my enthusiasm for your initiative to institute a lifetime wealth tax on the very wealthy and direct funds to capital endowments for young people. It's exactly the kind of bold initiatives that we need to be experimenting with and pushing and advocating for around the world. In the United States, I find that policymakers are always interested in talking about reducing inequality by raising the floor or by leveling the playing field, but rarely talking about addressing the concentration of wealth and power. And that's where your initiative is so important. There's no particular merit in inheriting a fortune. And even though people are shy and reluctant to pay taxes, most of us should support a tax on inherited wealth. I think we're just beginning to understand the ways in which advantage works over generations and how the intertransmissional advantage, the intergenerational transmission of advantage contributes to inequality. I myself grew up in a wealthy family. Uh, I'm the fourth generation of a meatpacking uh, uh, company Oscar Mayer, which is when I was young bought out by the multinational Kraft Foods. Uh, this has given me some insight into the way in which advantage and wealth works over multiple generations. I would argue we're living in a time where it's a new physics of inequality, compounding advantage for the privileged and wealthy and accelerating disadvantage for everyone else. To reverse these inequalities, we not only need bold policy ideas that reduce the concentration of wealth and create and lift up opportunity, we also have to change the stories that hold inequality in place. These are stories of individual deservedness and merit that mystify and mask the ways in which advantage works. One tactic we found useful in disrupting the narratives of advantage and deservedness is to enlist people who are the beneficiaries of public investments, free college, tax breaks, uh, low interest loans to buy homes, enlist them to tell true stories of how public investments made a huge difference in their own wealth building and opportunity. Uh, we formed this network called the Patriotic Millionaires. We have some 200 uh, pub, uh, entrepreneurs and wealthy individuals willing to speak out, people with $5 million or more. And they are vocally uh, supporting raising living wages, paying fair taxes, reducing inequality. Um, and their important contribution is to emphasize no one does it alone. No one creates wealth by themselves. No one is truly just self-made. Uh, they lift up those stories of the commonwealth and the web of public investments and private family advantage that helps them become wealthy. Anyway, I want to salute you in the founding of the forum and uh, wish you a successful meeting. And I hope to read about your proceedings and publish them uh, in inequality.org, our website. Thanks and have a, a great meeting.